All right, Mr. Jameson. Disney's latest animation feature flops on opening, which could result in a loss for Disney at over $100 million. Meanwhile, folks are pointing fingers blaming who's at fault. The animated feature Strange World opened domestically at $18 million over the weekend. This is a disaster as the film has a budget of around $180 million and would find it difficult to recoup this. The film received mediocre reviews from critics and audiences and receiving a B audience score, breaking history as the worst audience score for a Disney animation film. While conservative families play a part of this result as it features LGBTQ themes, it's ultimately Disney themselves who basically have given up hope on the film after the abysmal box office of Lightyear, which was heavily marketed. Lightyear made $226 million against its $200 million budget. Another reason is Disney has made the audience accustomed to watching animated features on Disney+. Plus. Films such as Encanto fared poorly at the box office at $256 million, but gained a cult following once it was released on Disney+. Plus. While folks blame this on JPEG, you have to realise that it had no other ways to release those films as COVID-19 forced theatres to close and everyone locked in their homes. On top of that, there seems to be a pattern with Disney and sci-fi movies that are not Star Wars. Sci-fi films such as John Carter, Miles Knees Mums and Lightyear flopped at the box office with average to bad reviews. It seems that Disney doesn't believe to make good original sci-fi and decides not to market these films. The exception with Lightyear is Disney thought that existing franchises would bring audiences. While Disney is struggling to make box office hits for its animations, other family-oriented films such as Illuminations, Minions, Rise of Gru and Paramount Sonic 2 fare better. It is the second time in a year Illumination has beaten Disney at the animated box office with Minions sequel this year and Sing sequel beating Encanto last year. In fact, if we count Illumination's own Universal Pictures, who happens to own Streamworks, then Universal has beaten Disney three consecutive years as the Cruise sequel released in 2020 overtook Disney Pixar's soul. Dreamworks still has Puss in Boots, which is set to be released later this year. To me, it seems that Disney just sucks at sci-fi movies, and it just couldn't be bothered to market this film. Let's hope Puss in Boots by DreamWorks would end animation this year on a high note.